Are you struggling with prospecting as a financial advisor? You are not alone. Many advisors face this challenge, but the good news is there are effective ways to overcome it. Right? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin, and today let's dive into some critical, uh, a critical issue uh, where most financial advisors faces, which is what we call prospecting. Many advisors struggle with this because it's not just about your method, the way you speak, the way you script yourself. It's about solving deeper challenges over here. And what are those challenges that I'm talking about? Num number one is insights. Number two is complacency. Number three is demand creation. So let me break down this and let's give you some actionable steps that you can change and transform your approach today. Right. So diving into problem number one, the first major challenge right, is really insights. Many advisors think they are providing valuable information to clients. Nothing wrong with that. But through insight, go beyond just information. They offer actionable steps that clients can use today. For example, one of my clients was very unsure about investing, especially during uncertainty time, right? a couple of years back then. So what I have done by providing her with tailored insights and her actionable steps or even a plan, uh, we managed to actually cut short her investment journey by 10 years helping her achieve her objective much sooner than she wants. Uh, I remember a time when this particular client of mine was very overwhelmed by all the market jargons. So there was a list of questions every time I meet her. So instead of answering them one by one, I decided to educate her about key economic indicators that are observed and how those indicators will impact their investment. So over time, but this particular client actually grew more confident with the work that I do for her and started uh, valuing my insights more. And again, it deepens our relationship and make me or a valuable advisor to them and likewise them a loyal client to me. So how do you solve this? Right? To solve this is basically that you need to stay ahead by constantly learning and understanding macro trends, market conditions, and consumer behavior. It's not about knowing, by the way. It's about understanding. So it's how much you are listening to these few areas. And because of constantly educating yourself, you can actually use all this information to guide your clients, your prospect. So the approach is over here, staying informed yourself by being proactive and watch how your insights start making a real deal in your client's life. Basically, making a real difference. Um, and by providing clients with valuable insights, you position yourself as a knowledgeable and reliable advisor. Client will trust you more and follow your guidance or even your advice. How about that? Point two, right? Uh, which is basically competency problem, which is one of the key important challenges uh, in advisor's life. Do you effectively communicate or converse your expertise to your target audience? It's not about knowing your stuff. I suppose most financial advisor out there, you really know your stuff. I truly believe that. But however, are you able to convey in the way that instill confidence above that conviction in them? Me, during the 2020 crisis, many of my clients were anxious about their investment. Uh, instead of me being panicked about it, I actually applied my own framework, analyzed the market conditions, find safer opportunities that they were likely to recover and grow. Eventually, the steps that I took was really by reallocating their assets. Uh, not just I mitigated their losses, I even positioned them for a significant gain when the market bounced back. So this approach solidified my reputation as a re reliable advisor. And through that, many other clients came about or many other prospects came about because they realized that their advisor is not helping them when they are facing problems with their investment, such as losses, uncertainty, let's say even a crisis, which I'm always uh, sharing in my channel, right? So what you want to do is really develop your niche area of expertise that are always in demand. So for me, such as investing for clients during rather good times or bad time, or even times that market didn't move, are you able to provide value for clients? And on top of that, you want to show them real case studies. For me, you can always go to my YouTube channel to look at some of the client's profile that I've worked with and what kind of results that I've given them, right? Because by showcasing your expertise, your competency, it naturally be able for you to build trust and transfer belief. Right? And 
and, and make you an authority in the areas of what you want to be, which is investing per se. So constantly showing your success story, case studies, uh, it actually let your clients see how your expertise come into action for them. And by building a strong reputation in such specific area, you naturally will attract more clients and opportunity for yourself, right? Because why? You are able to stand up among the crowd. Uh, and that's very essential also. Because when you are able to stand up, then the third challenge here is demand creation. So how do you generate interest and demand for your expertise, your services, your insight? And this is also a strategic approach to market yourself and create engagement between your clients also, right? And then how do we do that is one key step is probably want to utilize social platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram to share valuable content, content that solves problems for clients. Because by doing that, you actually showcase your expertise, engage with potential audience or potential clients that comes going to engage you in the near future. Constantly creating demand sets you up by making you visible and also valuable to those who not just need your services, but also want your services. At the end of the day, for me, another story is during post-COVID, I actually noticed and discovered certain sectors is going to be uh, positive assets for clients and potentially poised for growth. And because of those, I, re I suggested those assets to my client. And likewise, I use it uh, to attract newer clients that came about. So clients that have the interest like, how do you want to invest your money during a post-COVID environment? Because of the different macro trend, the different uh, economic condition, will the current assets that you are investing today, it is valuable or it is, it is okay to, inv to stay invested in those in a post-COVID environment? It's basically the, that conversation that I had and I created demand through social media. And that is how you need to have another ability to spot hidden opportunities. Because if everyone is talking about it, then what will make you different? No, no difference at all, precisely. Right? So we always want to be able to, uh, to be ahead of the curve and, and really spot un, unhidden or hidden opportunities for clients, in that sense. And by using targeted way of marketing your services, you actually be able to speak to the audience that in terms of their pain and their problems. So naturally, you become more attractive. And because you become more attractive, Individuals know that you are the guy to, or lady over here to help them when they have certain problems. And again, one tip, consistency is key. You want to constantly create demand for yourself, right? For the work that you can do for your clients or for the work that you are doing for your client. And as that goes, you naturally become more valuable because you become more valuable. What happened? You attract business. Then always constantly chasing down uh, your prospect or chasing down your business in a sense. So you want to be able to create a framework, create a system that you, once after you create, naturally is something that is in demand, something that people want to, okay? So there you have it. Improving, improving your prospecting success isn't just about refining your, pre, your pitch, by the way. It's about solving deeper systemic issues in insights, competency, and demand creation, right? If you tackle this tree, uh, I truly believe that you can really watch how your client base grew. Because for me, this is what happened. By right? implementing these three steps, uh, uh, of course, today I'm sharing a bit of the tips of it. And by implementing this these three areas, I, I really see that my FYC actually grew. So at this point, I want to thank you for watching. If you're ready to transform your financial advisory approach and solve these fundamental problems, do like, share, and subscribe for more insights. For any question or comment, drop them below, and I'd love to hear from them. So let's achieve greatness together. See you again. Bye.